Hi there, I'm Nicola Martin, Senior Consultant for Primary English and Literacy at Lancashire Professional Development Service. This vlog that we are going to be looking at today focuses on one-to-one -one reading with a well-trained and trusted adult. The focus of support you will see is Poppet reading a new text, skillfully supported by the teaching assistant with a focus on fluency and word reading, literal retrieval and of course support for vocabulary development. Mrs Sheridan skillfully supports Poppet in all aspects. Mrs Sheridan's got you a new book out today. What's the book called, Poppy? Top 10 Worst Jobs in History. Okay, so as Mrs Sheridan does, I go through it, don't I, for yeah. you? See if I can find any tricky words for you. Yeah. And I've found a couple. So, can we use our phonics? Yeah. To work out what this word yeah. says. So, N. Yeah. Do. Yeah. Sit. Yeah. Stick. The enthusiastic. Say it again for me. F. Enthusiastic. So blend it all together. Enthusiastic. Good girl, what do you think enthusiastic means? When you're means? really excited. When you're really excited. And it says, full of enthusiasm. Who's always mm. full of enthusiasm, Poppy? Me, you and Coach Kyle. Yeah, we are. What does that mean? Punishments. Punishments. Punishments, what do you think it means? When something really bad happens to you. Well done. When you've been naughty and you get punished yeah. for it, doesn't it? Doesn't it? What does that word say, Poppy? Mm, rain. It means we. <laughs> but, but what's the word, Poppy? You rain. You rain. Good girl, it does mean we. Well done. Well, of course, uh, these words might pop up in this book. Mm -hmm. Okay? And we can work them out together. Yeah. If need be. But yeah. if there's any other words that you struggle with, yeah. we'll blend them down, yeah. work them out, and then we'll write them on our special cards, yeah. won't we? Okay? Off you go, Poppy. Top! 10 worst jobs in history. Okay, easy jobs first. It's 1856. There are all kinds of jobs on farms for young people like you. You can start, you can start this. One when you're just five or six years old. You're a scarecrow. It's your job to scare birds away from eating seeds and plants in the fields. You shout, you shout loudly and clap bits of wood together to clap clap. Now, do this for 12 hours a day. That's very long, isn't it? Jackie? Yep. Your pay is, al is almost nothing, but if you're lucky, you might also get a Turnip. 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 Well done, Poppy. Good girl. That's a hard round vegetable that's mostly fed to, to farm animals. Now, there's something to look forward to. Come on. Clap, clap. Oh, what do you think you're going to look forward to? Like looking at birds, like someone with looking at birds and mm -hmm. like scaring the crows off. So and then it's going to tell like a little like person about something about crows. Could do. What do you think a scarecrow's got to do, Poppy? The scarecrow is going to um, scare um, crows away from the eating the seeds and plants. Do you think they're going to be able to move about in the field, or do they think they have to stand still? Stand still. Stand still. Could you stand still for 12 hours, Poppy? No. No. Carry on. The hours are long and the pay is terrible, but this job is easy compared to some. So what type of job is it on the onometer? Bearable. 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 George Edwards started working as a scraw, a scarecrow when he was six years old. He got so tired and bored that he fell asleep. The farmer found him to him for two days. Wadges. Let's mm, break that word down. What? what? Um, ages. 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 Wages. 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 What do you think wages is, Poppy? Like, they fight, like, they fight, like, they give you, like, they, do, they give you, like, if something really bad happens, I mm. think it might. Be. No. Wages means what you get paid. So what did oh. they get paid? Do you remember that vegetable they got paid in? Yeah. What was it called? Was it called? Turn pit nip. Turn, turn it. it. Good girl. Let's turn it. Let's see what's going to happen now. Yeah. Now, 
Do you think you can answer my questions for me? Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay, just on the couple of pages, we've got our little question cards here, haven't we? Our cue cards. Yeah. Okay. What we're going to do first, Poppy, yeah. is can you write down two or three things you are told about in the text? So what happened in the first chapter? What happened in the first chapter where yeah. they were talking about, like, was it about scarecrows? Scarecrows. Like people had to stand still for How 12 old? hours. 12 hours? Can you write that on the whiteboard for Mr. Sheridan, please? Yeah. Poppy, can you just read that sentence for Mr. Sheridan again? You please? have. Yeah. You had to brush the animal skin, then jump on it and get the juice out. Okay, can we just have a look at the word jump for me? It's a capital letter. It's a capital letter. What type of letter should it be? A small letter. Small, small letter. letter. Would you like to change it from Mr. Sheridan? Yeah. Good girl, well done. And what I want to say is fantastic trying yeah. to sound out the word juice. Yeah. But we've got to remember it's this soft C. Yeah. Okay, so we're watching. J U Juice. Juice. Is that okay? Yeah. So J Juice. Good girl, well done. Yeah. What was the best part? Which part of the book did you enjoy reading about the most? It was probably about the scarecrow. The scarecrow. Why was it about the scarecrow? Because it like it told you so much information that I loved it and it made it so fun to read. So if we need a scarecrow to go on the yard, is that a, is that a yeah. job you'd like to do? Yeah. Well, I'll go and listen to Smash to later then for you. Yeah. Here. Hi, so I'm here today with Michael Mascheter, who is the head teacher at St Mary's Roman Catholic Primary School at Clayton Le Moors. So thank you, Michael, for agreeing to be part of our vlog for this term. Yeah, very welcome. So first of all, can you um, explain how you identify the children who receive one-to-one -one reading support in your school? Yes, well, we've our lowest 20% of uh, attainers for reading in each year group. They're identified at the start of the year. And also those children who didn't meet the standard for the phonics test at year one and year two plus any other children who might just need that bit of intervention in reading. Um, so they read every single day, one to one. And, and we've also got children as well who are just at age related or slightly under, we might just be a little bit concerned about and they read, three, they have a quality one to one read three times a week as well. Uh, but we also make sure that there's lots of quality reading opportunities all throughout the day, throughout the curriculum uh, for every single child. Um, we found it's very noticeable when we've been looking at the data for last year through every year in school that those lower attaining readers are really narrowing the gap and we do feel that is down to quality one-to-one -one reading sessions that are provided for them every single day. Okay Michael, so can you explain how you've identified and provided your teaching assistant with CPD to ensure that they are skilled in the delivery of teaching and learning for reading? We try, well, we try to make sure we have a very clear approach when identifying CPD via monitoring and evaluation and well, this informs a tight focus for the school improvement plan. Um, so following a consultancy deep dive with a member of the primary English and literacy team just last year, we identified the needs for specific training for teaching assistants, uh, just so that they were skilled in uh, the three key areas, which are uh, develop, developing vocabulary, um, literal retrieval and inference, of course. Um, we're keen that they use the exact same approaches that teachers use when teaching reading. So they do use uh, the reading domain cards uh, for questioning and also the absolute emphasis on pre-teaching and exploring vocabulary within text uh, and the focus on spoken language to develop book talk. Uh, sometimes planned and it can also sometimes be incidental as well. All teachers and teaching assistants in this school have received training and support with the use of red rose letters and sounds across the year. As you can see in the reading session, Poppy uses phonic strategies to build and blend words um, and then smooth read, which obviously contributes to her fluency. Red Rose of Letters and Sounds is used consistently and with fidelity across the whole school. That's absolutely key because we all know phonics never stops. 